All right, so uh, Coach G, we're starting the second half here pretty soon. Uh, the defense has made some tremendous stands to keep this game a, a relatively close, close game, and the Lancers are going to get the ball back to start the second half. What are your kind of impressions about uh, the, the Lancer performance in the first half and what you look forward to maybe on this first possession? Well, in a game that's relatively tight still, you know, obviously you, you want to see what sort of uh, adjustments uh, the Lakeside coaching staff was able to dive, dial up there. And, and we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens here to start this half and see if Lakeside can get anything positive going offensively. Lance will take the kickoff all the way out to the 35 yard line. Let's just take the kickoff to the 36 yard line. First to 10 Lancers. So here's the Lancer offense's chance to kind of crawl back into the game. Again, still a lot of time. You know, you got an entire half of football yet to be played. But we'll we'll see what happens here. In other news, I think we need to talk of, to Mr. Drake, our athletic director, about getting some AC up here. It is oh, yeah. brutally it is, hot up here. Yeah. Handoff goes to Vince Gastelum. Vince Gastelum, the ball carrier. Short gain on the play. Second down and nine. So you can see on that on that play, Lakeside pulled both backside guard and tackle, but without a push on the front side, you know, those, those pulling players aren't gonna help out a ton because the, the tackle was actually made by the backside defensive end because there wasn't any movement on the front side. Gaslam had nowhere to go. Dakota Pope goes back to pass, throws a screen pass up the middle. Dakota Pope's pass complete to Vince Gastelum. Tackled down at the 35 yard line, loss of two yards. Brings up third down. Now you can see what, what the design was there, but you know the rush comes so fast, you don't even really get a chance to set up the screen action because the defense is, it, is in Pope's face before he has a chance. You have to set first before you start to backpedal on a screen, and he doesn't have time to do that. Dakota Pope goes back to pass, steps up, and he's gonna just toss the ball away. Another penalty flag comes out, probably for intentional grounding. Penalty flag on the play. I don't know if that was a penalty flag or just uh, Elijah Herrera's bright yellow gloves. Oh huh. no, there's definitely a flag. Yeah. I don't see it out there. That's intentional grounding. Five yard penalty from the spot of the foul brings up fourth down. Well, as you mentioned before, coach, you know, when you're only getting one yard on first down, you're not really setting up your quarterback for success at no, that point. No, uh, that's absolutely correct. Lancer punt goes back all the way to the 38 yard line, tackled immediately. Tell you what, you know, the one thing that you cannot fault the Lakeside defense and special teams for is a lack of effort. There, there is definitely a lot of effort out there. These, these kids are flying around and doing the best they can. Cameron Johnson getting down there on special teams, making a, a good tackle. That's a punt goes to the 39 yard line, first and 10 Lions. All right, so here's uh, the Lions' chance to have the ball in the second half. 14 0 lead. There's a big pass. That's going to be. A touchdown, touchdown, Lions. You know, it's it's tough uh, 
defensively if you're lakeside, you know, it's hard to be disciplined in the defensive backfield when you've consistently had to come up and help and run support. Play action on first down from Linfield, and that goes over the top, and that ball was underthrown. It was a lot closer than it should have been. If that ball's not underthrown, there, there's no Lancer defender within 10 yards of him. Point after touchdown is good with nine minutes and 39 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Linfield 21, your Lakeside Lancer zero. Well now at this point, Coach, you're, you're just kind of playing out the string and making sure that you're as healthy as possible for the start of the league here in a few weeks. You know, is that kind of how you're playing the game? No, I, I don't think at this point you 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 can't. Uh, there's still too much time left to not try and work on your offense, to not try and work on the game plan that you had in place. Uh, you know, because you haven't been successful, doesn't mean that you can't still get reps that are worth something. Uh, you know, at, at at this point, they may need to deviate from their game plan and maybe look at digging a little deeper into the playbook somewhere in order to try and find some success. However, uh, you know, I, I definitely don't think anybody's gonna stop playing at this point in time. I know the, I know the kids sure don't want to. Let's just take the kickoff return out to the 24 yard line, first and 10. So the Lancers take over at the 24-yard line. Dakota Pope goes back to pass. Again, he, he overthrows his receiver. He's not got the opportunity to step into any throws right now. He he's he's not setting to throw the ball because he he can't. Uh, there you can't even say that he's not stepping up in the pocket. There just isn't anything for him to step up into, unfortunately. And that's just the case of one-on-one -on -one matchups right right now it's not a scheme thing it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup thing yeah and and you don't have a, a paul branham who can take on that one-on-one -on -one defender again dakota pope throws down the and it is deflected that was really good coverage there jalen leonard in, in coverage there Dakota Pope's pass is incomplete. Now you can you can argue about route selection all you want. You know, at Lakeside, everything they've tried to throw tonight, with the exception of the one screen, has been vertical. You know, you can argue about route selection, but the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter if you're trying to run a, a, a slant or a, a go or a hitch at this point in time. That ball's got to come out a lot sooner than Pope wants it to. So you're restricted to what you can run. Time out, time out, Lions.
Somebody just popped a uh, a little uh, not a not smoke bomb. What are those little color filled things that they pop off? You know, down there in the I'll call it a student section. It's ASB. Some, yeah, it's the the, the ASB, ASB crew trying to generate some spirit down there. Dakota Pabst's post pass is complete to Vince Gastelum. He's shoved backward. Dakota Pope. Lateral off to Vince Gastelum. Fourth down. So the Lancers are in punt formation. Low snap, but recovered well. Lions take the punt return out to the 45 yard line. First and 10 Lions. Walter is again imploring his defense, trying to get them to step up one more time, trying to keep this game close. Linfield's in a heavy set now. Looks like they may be, nope, oh, we're gonna get a flag before it's able to get going. It looks like Linfield might be content at this point to just work on their ground game and try and pound the ball out. Offside against the Lancers. Five yard penalty. First down and five. Burst the ball carrier. Ball is spotted at the 35 yard line. Gain of four yards in the play, second down and one. Again, uh, coach, like you mentioned, the, uh, the defense still playing hard, still trying to control that line of scrimmage. Absolutely. You know, you look uh, you look over on the Linfield sideline, and one of the things you and I talked about off-air off at the beginning of the game is, or before the game, I should say, Linfield doesn't have a very big team. They're a small school. They don't have a very big uh, high school population, and they don't travel with a big group. They probably only got, of the 11 guys they've got on the field, they probably only have you know, one and a half times that on the sidelines. So they're they're probably not uh, not in a situation where they could call off the proverbial dogs, other than just hey, we'll we'll just start running the football because they just don't have a very big roster. Okay, the Mersh goes back to pass, tosses it to the right, passes juggled and dropped. Again, you know, even with a 21-point lead, there's still seven minutes left in the quarter. You know, that's, you know, like, like we talked about a little bit ago, that's, Linfield has to continue to run their offense. You know, you, you can't, you know, phone this in and say, all right, we're going to stop doing what we do because we've got a lead. You know, it's only game, 
game three of the season, you've got to get reps. Caleb Mersh passes incomplete. Second down. Here's some grumbles from the stands below us about why are they still throwing the ball? Well, they got to get their work in too. Osale Lamasatelli is still playing. Oh yeah, yeah, he's he's never gonna quit playing. That I think that kid would play any sport. If you told him there was a game going on, it wouldn't matter if it was badminton, he'd run out there and play. And he's nice too. Big and scary, but nice. Yeah, my daughter calls him a teddy bear. It's one of those teddy bears you win at the carnival that's really, really big. <laughs> exactly. Lions carry the ball out to the left side and they're gonna get another first down. First down, Lions. Just a simple power play. That's another 20 yards for a touchdown there for Linfield. Touchdown, touchdown Lions. Point after touchdown is good. Five minutes and 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Limfield 28, your Lakeside Lancers zero. thing that I will say, you know, as you look at the defense coming off the field, you've got all the defensive coaches walking out to meet their, uh, their team as they come off the field. Still encouraging, still coaching, still continuing to work for them because the boys continue to work for their coaches and work for their teammates. So you like to see that from the coaching staff staying in the game as much as the kids are remaining in the game as well. Yeah, I, you know, and you know, with with the offense being outgunned at this point, you know, the the big burden is really on the defense. And we got a penalty flag on the play. Yeah, the ball went out of bounds. The the kick went out of bounds, I should say. There's a little bit of a delayed whistle there from the officiating crew, but no matter. I think everybody on the field, both offensively and defensively, recognized what was going on. Yeah. So let's see if the Lancers can put anything together on offense. Seems to be the uh, recurring theme. Wait, did they say that the Lakeside player touched the ball? This is very strange. The, the Lakeside coaching staff is very confused. Coach Chandler's all the way out to the numbers. All the, all the players are standing out there. I, I, you know, the only thing that I can think of is that, well, now, now they're walking out to the 35 where it should be. 
But Lakeside's return man, Derek Andrews, grabbed the ball before it hit the ground out of bounds, although he was standing out of bounds right. when he grabbed that ball. So it looks like they're going to fix this, and I think maybe the linesman on this side. I don't know if he was maybe confused so much. Just, you know, again, er, it's still early. It's still early in the season. Got little mistakes to clean up. If I'm right, too, I think they're giving Lakeside five extra yards of field position, too. <laughs> you know, the, uh, yeah, uh, that I, ball should be at the 35-yard yeah, line, right? Yeah, that ball 35-yard line, yep. but... But no matter. Yeah, it doesn't appear that Linfield's coaching staff's too worried about it, and the officiating crew is going to let them go. seem too worried about it. Dakota Fulton, the ball carrier. Two yards on the carry, second down and eight. So, looks like Linfield has made a few substitutions up front. Their defensive front has gotten noticeably smaller. I don't think anybody found Rick Moranis' laser beam and did the honey I shrunk the kids. <laughs> Dakota Bob's pass is complete. I think that may be his first completion of the night, and it went for zero yards. Oh, no. He had the one to Gaslam on the screen pass earlier. You know, again, the kids are hanging in there. They're still playing. And you got to continue to run your offense and get reps against whoever you're throwing against. First, seconds, backups, starters, it doesn't matter. You get your reps any way you can. All right, third down and long. Dakota Pope goes back to pass, tosses it down the right side, but in between two receivers. Pass Dakota incomplete. Pope's pass is incomplete. So is that is that a route running problem? You know I, I mean, I you got two receivers in the area. It's hard to say from a from a scheme standpoint. It looked like they had two guys running, uh, you know, vertical routes there, and I don't know if it was just the simple fact of you know the outside receiver pursuing the ball because he saw it thrown or a, a poorly thrown ball. You know, maybe bad uh, alignment to start with. They didn't have enough separation. Honestly, it could be any number of things at this point in time. Yeah, and you know, having second, third string receivers out there. Yep. Yeah, Lakeside's shorthanded at, on the outside tonight, that's for sure. Penalty flag on the play. we may get a sideline warning right here it looked like this official here on the near side may have bumped into one of the lakeside players on the sideline or perhaps a coach and yeah our coaches are kind of notorious for that huh yeah yeah coach Chandler's out there talking to the white hat and he's got his arms out front sportsmanlike conduct and usually that usually that's because of a, a sideline warning first one you don't get any any penalty yards marked off on you, but every subsequent one after that becomes a 15-yarder. Looks like they are going to mark off some penalty yards here.
Yeah, the pace of the game is uh, really slowed, slowed down. Slowed dramatically, yeah. So welcome to Saturday morning football, coach. I'm going home. If that happens, legitimately, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to hold out for better value. I need to be <laughs> paid exactly. like the color commentator that I am. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're ju we're just riding out the string hoping that uh, maybe we get a con you know, well, I, I'm gonna get take, a contract or yeah, something. I'm going to take my uh, take my lead from Le'Veon Bell. If I'm going <laughs> to hold I'm out to speak this many words. <laughs> gosh darn it. I'm going to be paid for speaking all of these words. Absolutely. <laughs> Not sure what we're waiting on here. The White Hat's writing in his journal. Well, at least the band's uh, getting suited up. Well, they're leaving. Well, there goes the entertainment. Yep. Caleb Mersh. Correction, number six, Justin Lurch. Takes the ball out to the 43-yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Lions. And this is this is when, you know, you start to see what we were talking about earlier. You know, Lakeside ran a total of 17 plays in the first half. Lin Linfield was Linfield was triple that. And now you're starting to see uh, you're starting to see the fatigue really, really setting in here. Yeah, I mean, it's just way too many plays on defense, yeah. Coach. Yep. Way too many plays. Yep. Point after touchdown is good with three minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Limfield 35, your Lakeside Lancer 0. Well, this is what we kind of expected, Coach. I mean, you know, we were talking about in the pregame show that, uh, you know, Linfield isn't your average private high school no, football uh, team. No. I mean, they're not going to go out and compete in the Trinity League, don't get me wrong. However, they are... They are a very you know, solid not, team for this you know, area. You know, as, as short as five or six years ago, you know, Linfield having a having a good football season, not an above average. They've always been an average football program, but having a good football season was kind of an anomaly. They competed for a CIF title, I want to say in 2011 or 12, but then other than that, we're kind of, you know, average. And within the last half half dozen, you know, five, five seasons or so, they've really changed. They've got a new coaching staff in there that's, that's really injected uh, quite a bit of life into the program there. Again, Lancer special teams really working hard. Kickoff return goes out to the 41-yard line. First to 10, Lancers. That's a, that's a kid I'd like to see with the ball in his hands a little bit more is Derek Andrews there. He's, he's got some, some electric speed there. Uh, it's obviously just getting the ball into his hands a little bit, uh, a little bit easier said than done. Pope hands off the ball. 
big gain. That's the uh, same same play that Saleh Lamasatelli had a touchdown run on the first play from scrimmage week one. This time it was Cameron Johnson toting the ball there. Cameron Johnson, the ball carrier, takes it into Lions territory. Ball is spotted at the 40-yard line. First and 10, Lancers. Dakota Pope hands off to Vince Gaslam, carries it to the right side. Vince Gaslam, the ball carrier. Tackled at the 36 yard line, gain of four, second down and six. Cameron Johnson, the ball carrier. Gain of four yards on the play. Third down and two. And off goes to Vince Castellum. Thrown back behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. Not that there was any question about it, but Lakeside's gonna go for it here on fourth down. Again, take as many plays as you possibly can. Linfield's uh, corner easily diagnosed that slant route and beat, beat the Lakeside receiver to the point, and that's gonna be a turnover on downs. Lions ball. Ball is spotted at the 35 yard line, first and 10, Lions. Lions carry the ball. One yard, second down and nine. Coming down here to the end of the fourth quarter and it's pretty clear that Linfield's just gonna be turning around and handing the ball off from here on out. Lancer defense stacks up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, third down. Those student bodies trying to keep things rowdy.
Yeah, you gotta hurry. Hurry! Let's go! go. Yeah, they're they're lining yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, they're lining up. They're yeah. Hurry. Yeah. Yeah, can't do it. So third, third and nine here to start the fourth quarter for Linfield, and we've got a, a running clock going from here on out. Yeah, which is kind of unfortunate, but maybe maybe you're just hoping to get the game over quick and. Save your guys for for another day. Yeah, I, I mean this seems to, uh, you know, looking down there at the uh, injury table down there, you've got a few few Lakeside players hanging out over at the training table. We already lost uh, Saucedo to an injury. Yeah, Baumhoff's over there on crutches, coach. Yeah. Again, no, uh, no Paul Branham tonight. Don't know the reason why. One of the things that I'll say about, you know, as Linfield calls a timeout here, one of the things that I've noticed is, is their coaching staff is, you know, uh, again, the game's well in hand, but their coaching staff is still most definitely into the coaching game, the, coaching their players, just as as Lakeside's coaching staff is doing theirs, and. I feel like I, uh, like I sound like a broken record, you know, a little bit here, but it's still week three, and mm -hmm. at this point in time, you got to get reps. You know, you hear, especially in like, uh, in baseball, you hear them talk about small sample sizes, and, and you know how, after you know a couple of games, a player can look like a world beater or they can look terrible. And I think, uh, you know, it's it's hard really to pass judgment quite yet, um, but it definitely appears that. Lakeside's defense is far ahead of where their offense is at this point in time. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, you know, injuries to, you know, a starting offensive lineman in, in Dylan Baumhoff and, and Wyatt Steele, who's yet to play a game this year because of his injury, obviously, is not helping things. But Lakeside graduated a lot of skill players and they've got to have guys step up to fill those voids. Short punt by the Lions. Bounces about at the 48-yard line. Lions punt goes to the 46-yard line. First and 10, Lancers. Yeah, like you said, Coach, uh, need some reps, need some uh, some guys to get some work in here. See if we can replace some of those big losses at the, the skill positions. Handoff goes to Cameron Johnson. Cameron Johnson, the ball carrier. There is a penalty flag on the play. Dakota Pope got popped back there, too. That, that's a, that, that's a pretty slow developing play. I mean, that's, you know, anytime you run a counter, you, you, you count on the misdirection. You count on Flo taking the uh, defensive players one direction. Um, but as a result, Dakota Pope's got to hold on to that ball a little bit longer. And uh, quarterbacks not used to getting hit when they're handing the ball off. But that is a little bit of a slow developing play. That, that wing counter there that Lakeside likes to run. Holding against the defense. Oh, that's Correction, a that's a personal long. foul face yeah. mask against the defense. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, Lancers. One of the few first downs that they got tonight, coach, came on a penalty. Yep. 
again, this is just one of those things that if you're the coaching staff, you get, you get, you look at some of the film, but this is probably one that you don't bring the boys in to show tomorrow. You maybe send a cut up home with them and say, all right, guys, we sent you these 10, 11 plays. We want you to take a look at them. And, th and that's that. To cut up the ball carrier, gain of five yards in the play, second down and five. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of that tonight, Coach, that, that read option where Dakota can take the ball up the middle. Yeah, it's just, you know, it, it, it hasn't been there. The, you know, again, the, the reason it's there now is because of, of Linfield's substitution package that they've got out there now. Dakota Pope hands off to Vince Gastelum, cuts it up to the left side. Short gain on the play. Vince Gastelum, the ball carrier. Gain of two yards on the play. Third down. Dakota Pope. Hands off to Sale Lamasatelli. Breaks the edge. He's going to go inside the five yard line. Sale Lamasatelli, the ball carrier, takes the ball inside the 10 yard line. First and goal answers. Let's see if Lakeside can get a get in the end zone here. Get a little bit, get some consolation and a, a positive out of this. Vince Gastelum falls forward. Vince Gastelum, the ball carrier, gain of two yards, second down and goal. You can definitely tell that that's a this particular package that Lakeside has out there right now, a, a you know a full house sort of package. It's not something that they're used to used to running. They've got some big boys in the backfield. Shift into an unbalanced look here. Vince Gastelum shoved backward. It's going to lose a yard. Vince Gastelum, the ball carrier. Loss of two yards on the play. Third and goal. Now you figure if you're Lakeside, you, you, probably, you probably try and throw it a couple of times maybe. Uh, you know, see if you go back to that quarterback ISO or quarterback counter. It's me. I try and get the ball to Cameron Johnson, but it seems like it's going to the well one too many times there. Linfield had that one diagnosed pretty well. Handoff goes to Cameron Johnson. Fourth down. They're going to run the field goal team out there and try and try and get a few points. So Andres Banda comes in to attempt what looks to be a 28-yard field goal. Oh, penalty flag on the play. Make it a little closer here. Encroachment against the defense. Ball is spotted at the five yard line. Snap is up and it is blocked. 
That's a live ball on a field goal. Andres Bunda's kick is blocked. Returned by the Lions out past the 20 yard line. First and 10. Linfield's pretty excited over there. They preserved their their shutout. Yeah. And you know for you know and for rightfully good reason, so. You know, rightfully so. Yeah. I, I don't. You know. Again, I I don't see the uh, problem with celebrating that. You make a great play. You know. You hear some calls from the the home stands here for you know go for it, go for it. But at the same time, you know I can't fault you got a good kicker. I can't fault Coach Chandler for trying to get some points. Had a timeout here by Linfield. Timeout, timeout, Lions. So just like we saw in the, the game opener, Coach, we, we know that the Lancers have a solid, solid defense. Other than the comeback that uh, Dakota Pope helped engineer at the end of the fourth quarter against Ramona. On top of the quick 10 points that they scored on their first couple plays in the game against Ramona, you know, the, the offense has struggled a little bit to uh, help out the defense. Yeah, yeah, and that's, uh, again, that seems to have been the I mean, historically, that that is what what Lakeside has has been about defensively. They've always played tough, always played hard, regardless of who's the who the head coach has been, uh, regardless of who the coordinator has been. Um, but the offense uh, hasn't been able to to match that production. Uh, I guess one of the positives that you can take away offensively from this game, coach, is. The the Lancers haven't turned over the football. No, they um, haven't. You know, and for all the pressure that they've been under, you know, that that Dakota Pope's kind of, I don't want to say thrown balls up for grabs because he hasn't just been tossing them blindly. He's been trying to make the, uh, that's a little interesting. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a little questionable, Coach. Uh, you know, you're up 35 to nothing. Yeah. That one. Uh... You know, at this point, you know, you probably want to get uh, off the field as quickly as possible so that we don't get uh, injuries out there. Yeah. And I can't tell... I can't tell if that was just a, a one-off, you know, and they'll decide to hand the ball off from here on out, and it appears that way now. But that was a uh, that was a that was a play-action pass with three and a half minutes left in the game, and you're up 35 nothing. So you know, but again, I I'm not on their sideline. I'm not in their 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 coaches' discussions, so I'm not gonna speculate or name call or anything like that. That's not my That's not, not what my we get place, paid the big bus for, place coach. To do. Not quite sure what the holdup is here. They just ran a bunch of clock off for what appeared like no good reason at all. <laughs> we get a, looks like first down Linfield there. First down Lions. Excuse me.
Final score, Limfield 35, your Lakeside Lancer 0.